Welcome back to Bible Block Stories with Auntie Jen. I'm Auntie Jen, and today we begin the story of Esther, which is by special request from Alyssa, age 9, in Reno, Nevada. This story will take place across four videos, and today we start with the first one called A New Queen. It's based on chapters 1 and 2 of the Book of Esther. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the Queen of Persia. This is King Xerxes. Hebrew people also called him Ahasuerus. He lived in his palace in a city called Susa. One day, he decided to invite all the governors and leaders from the different areas of his kingdom to a huge party that would last for months. First, he gave them a tour of all his kingdom and showed off all his wealth. Then he ended with a banquet that lasted a week. At the same time, Vashti, the queen, hosted a banquet for all the women. On the last day of the banquet, King Xerxes commanded his servants to bring Queen Vashti over to his banquet so that he could show off to all the men there just how beautiful she was. But Vashti refused to leave her banquet. Mm -mm. Well, this made Xerxes furious. Ah. He called over his seven closest advisors and asked, what the law said he should do to punish Vashti for her disobedience. The advisor Memukan said, Not only did she disobey you, but she has set a bad example to women everywhere who will start disobeying their husbands. So here's what I recommend. Replace her with someone else. Then the women everywhere will learn respect for their husbands. So the message was sent all over the land that men were the rulers in their house. Later on, when King Xerxes had cooled down, he began to think about finding a new queen. His advisors suggested that they go all over the kingdom looking for young women to come and live at the palace where they could receive beauty treatments. Then the king could choose from among them the one he liked best to be the new queen. The king liked that idea, hmm. and he told them to make it happen. Now, this is Mordecai. He was a Jewish man who was living in Susa after the Babylonians took over in Judah. He was raising his cousin Hadassah as if she was his daughter because her parents had died. She was very lovely, and along with many other girls, she was selected to go live in the palace. Mordecai told her not to reveal that she was a Jew, so instead of going by Hadassah, she used her Persian name, Esther. When all the girls arrived at the palace, they were entrusted to a man named Haggai, mm -hmm. who was in charge of all the girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was so impressed with Esther that he moved her to the front of the line. Mm -hmm. She started getting her special beauty treatments and special food right away. Mm -hmm. He also assigned seven of the palace maids to tend to her and gave her the best room. Oh. And every day, Mordecai came by the palace gate to find out how Esther was doing. Mm -hmm. So here's how the plan worked. Each girl would get a year of beauty treatments with oils and perfumes and whatnot. Then when it was her turn to meet King Xerxes, she could request anything she wanted, like beautiful clothes or jewelry or hairstyles or whatever. When it was Esther's turn, she didn't make any requests. She just went with whatever Haggai suggested. So after a year of preparation, Esther finally got to go meet King Xerxes. Right away, he liked her more than any of the other girls. So he put a crown on her head and made her the new queen. To celebrate, he had another big banquet and declared a day of holiday. Meanwhile, Esther continued to keep the secret that she was a Jew. Not long after, another thing happens which becomes important later on. One of those times Mordecai was sitting out at the king's gate, he overheard a couple of the palace guards named Bigthana and Teresh. Turns out they were making plans about how to kill King Xerxes. Well, Mordecai told Esther, and Esther reported it all to Xerxes, including the part that Mordecai was the one that heard them plotting. 
So the king had them brought in for questioning, and when they found that the accusation was true, the two guards were hanged from a gallows. And all of this was written down in the palace records. Wow, that was quite a change for Esther, wasn't it? We don't actually know if she wanted to go to the palace and become queen, but it was going to be an adventure anyway. Sometimes big changes happen to us that seem scary at first, but actually can turn out to be a good thing. We'll see what's coming up in the next few chapters of Esther. Let's pray about it. Dear God, thank you for the changes you bring into our lives and for being with us during those changes. Please help us to be courageous as we face change and recognize the good things about those changes. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the next installment in the story of Esther. See you next time.